All right, so this is my first video. Um, I was inspired by uh, watching YouTube. Um, Ollie Moon and uh, Kenny from KOT4Q. Uh, I enjoy watching their videos and um, I, like Kenny, I used to be a card collector and then um, got away for it for a long, 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 long time. And then during the pandemic, you know, I kind of picked it up again. Um, I'd go to Walmart after work and I'd see these packs there and I had a lot of disposable income. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, so I started picking it up again. And um, so today I kind of went out on a little, uh, after working out, I went out. Uh, I had to run some errands at Walgreens and Target and uh, I was able to find some, some cool stuff. So, yeah, let's break into this and see what we have. So... First things first is uh, these Panini Contenders. Apparently the, the blaster boxes, uh, you get one autograph per pack. And um, yeah, unfortunately when I went to Walmart, they were out of the out of the blaster boxes and all they have were the packs. So let's go ahead and try these out. And by the way, if uh, you see anything you like or have anything to say to me or whatever, just leave it in the comments. So. By the way, I love these cards. Uh, a lot of people are turned off by these because of the college uniforms, but um, one of my jobs is I own my own photography business, and one thing I do is I shoot a lot of NCAA uh, basketball events. So um, just seeing some of these pictures, uh, it brings me back because I've actually shot some of these people on these for their schools or for the NCAA. So uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, Donovan Mitchell, little Blake Griffin, Trey Young, St. Louis's own Jason Tatum, met this guy he's a really good guy um really gives back to the st louis area um my brother meets him all the time my brother he's a manages a club uh, or he's the assistant manager at a club and uh, tatum always goes there has little parties there all the time he's just a really good guy um great to the staff great to the people there if they come by and say hi he he makes sure he says hi to him takes pictures with them uh, and he's a good tipper um, so the big thing about these cards there's alonzo ball I'm hoping to find his brother Lamelo, who's considered probably one of the top five uh, draft picks this year, if not the number one. These mascot cards: Corey Brewer, Theo Melodon. So this is an actual true rookie, I guess. Um, this would be his true first rookie card. Uh, don't know much about this guy. Uh, name doesn't ring a bell, but apparently he's uh, good enough that he garners his own card. With JJ Redick. Angelo Russell and uh, Jimmy Buckets and yeah, these kind of cool cards I don't know I don't know what the difference is um, it might just be the foil oh it's a green foil and this one's got purple foil so but it doesn't have the refractor to it so all right nothing much there so that's all right we have more packs um, like I said, I guess the blast box has a one guaranteed one autograph per box, or at least one autograph per box, so you might get less. So, you know, maybe we can pull one. Another Jimmy Buckets again from Marquette, home of, that's where uh, Dwayne Wade played at. Okay, Love, Barrett, some Mellow. Mellow had a great year this year, comeback year. Booker, KD. Looking forward to him getting back on the floor. Beal, Middleton, and we have uh, Killian Hayes. Not familiar with him, and the mascots Dayton. Dayton uh, had a great year uh, this past year. Unfortunately, they weren't able to play in the NCAA tournament. It would have been nice to see how they did. Uh, they probably would have been set for a number one seed. Well, David Robinson, the Admiral. Anthony Edwards, this uh, many people are thinking he's probably the one, two, two or three pick. So that's a good card right there. Freshman coming out after his freshman year in the John Wall and a Demar Derozan, like refractor type card. So. Ah, Jaron Jackson, Dame Lil Damian Lillard. I uh, know his brother pretty well. His brother was a football player down at uh, Southeast Missouri State, so it's always good to see um, how well he's doing. Levine, Westbrook, Paul, 
little Zion. I mean, you know, it's not his true rookie card, obviously, or a rookie card. But uh, it's a cool card, nevertheless. So, I don't know. Might be worth something. Especially if he blows up this year after a full season. Healthy. JJ Reddick. I've heard some things about this guy. I don't know. Um, I think he's a top. He's a considered a lottery pick. So we'll see what happens. Oh, we have an autograph. And we have a Freddie Galepsi from Baylor. Uh, name sounds familiar. I don't know if he's going to be... Uh, you know where he ranks in the top you know in terms of NBA draft um, his, his prospects of being a first-round pick but uh, hey got me an autograph out of two packs not bad or three so it's the last pack of the basketball so um actually I found two of these packs I only grabbed two from Walmart but I found two of these actually at a Walgreens so um, I was really surprised um, you know I, I Go to Walgreens a lot, and I'll I'll show you what I typically go there for. But yeah, I found two of them there and uh, picked them up. So I don't know if that's a regular thing, uh, but I guess some Walgreens will be holding them. But I went to like three Walgreens today, and that was the only one that had them. Damien again, Westbrook, CP, Kawhi, another Zion, Shabazz Napier, and oh, there's that guy again. Yeah. Don't know much about him. I have to do some research on him, but I think this is one of the inserts for it. Number five, Jalen Brunson, Killian Tilly. Don't know much about him. I know Gonzaga had a really good year this past year, so I imagine he's probably one of the reasons why. And Anthony Davis and James Harden. So, so out of those two, I got a rookie. Or out of those four packs, a rookie and uh, an Anthony Edwards card. So we're gonna put those to the side. And let's, uh, since we're talking about Walgreens, I'm going to go ahead and go to these. So these have these names. They're called the Prime Packs. They're made by Fairfield. And uh, they're only nine bucks, but it comes with like three cards, uh, three packs in there. Uh, hobby packs or mainly hobby packs. Yeah, hobby packs. So um, nine bucks. I, I like them. It's cool because it, it just, you know, since I picked up card collecting again, it's kind of a good way for me to catch up from the years I missed. So um, I like them. Like I said, it's like uh, opening up a time machine, I guess. So pretty I figured out a way to open these up, and um, so what? It's kind of you really don't know what you're gonna get. I mean, like I said, we have some leaf. Those are pretty much an old those type of packs. But then it's usually like a hodgepodge. Sometimes it's prestige. Sometimes it's some um, other card. So that's uh, 2014, and this is a uh, like 2016 Donruss. And then of course you got your your Dan Connor uh, rookie score rookie card. So kind of a throw in. So let's let's take a look at these and. They vary. Um, I've seen uh, Topps Chrome uh, Minis in these. Um, what else have I seen in them? Um, God, all types of cards in these. Ugh, have to be a little bit to the side. There we go. So, out of this, what we're kind of looking for, the 2016, obviously it's not the 2017 year, but it's like, there's Derrick Henry. I think Carson Wentz, Wentz rookie cards, Derrick Henry. Um, they're nice. I like the cards. I like the look. Uh, here's an insert. Uh, Pierre Garçon. And a Cody Kessler rookie card. Yeah, Cody Kessler. Wow. Uh, the Prestige, uh, as you can see, uh, Johnny Manziel's on there. On the cover of that thing. Uh, these are actually, I like I like the look of these cards. They're pretty sharp. I like just uh, the color flow of this. Um... Oh, well, I think we might have a hit in this. A Vic. Uh, every time I see a Vic card, I just like, I don't know. Like, I was, I've always liked him as a player. You know, yeah, he's made some questionable decisions in life, but, you know, he's bounced back from it. So what do we have here? Asa Watson, rookie card. Uh, yeah. Yeah, obviously a tight end. Um, yep, yeah, I, cool. I mean, it's a sharp looking card. Um, it would been nice if it was one of, like, you know, someone from that year. I'm trying to think who was in that 2014 rookie class. Well, here's one. Blake Burles. Oh. Uh, Ryan Grant, rookie. And then uh, David Wilson, Earl Thomas. So we, we did pull uh, 
pull something out of there. So, yeah. I've pulled worse. And let's leave. I just like the leaf. I mean, they're not great cards, but like I said, again, they're they're the college. Well, they're not officially licensed by their college, but they're in the college uniforms. But I don't know. It was like one of the first cards that came out with the rookies, with their um, of these players. I mean, Butkus, called Kamet. Yeah, not much out of there. Jerry, you know, you know, he's been hurt all year, and DeAndre Swift, he's uh, he's. He's, he has, he's been having his games here and there. Um, right, oops. Let's try another one. It's, maybe we'll have some different cards in this one, or packs. Obviously, like I said, the Leaf will be one of the cards, or one of the packs in there. Um, and the Donner, so we'll be having basically the same. So, this probably came out of the same run. That's why you have the same cards, or the same packs, or the same types. So it probably came out. This. But it's it varied. Uh, like I said, I've got a Topps Chrome's Mini out of there. I forgot what year it was. Uh, 20, 26, maybe 16? I don't know, maybe not, I don't know, I'm trying to remember. But um, Clay Matthews, Jimmy Cram, Kelly, and our rookie is Never heard of that guy. <laughs> Quarterback, Jake Ruddock. Played at Michigan. And I'm a Michigan fan. I never even heard of this guy. Wow. Huh, interesting. Huh. There was a time there, like I said, uh, a couple years there where I just really didn't follow sports too much. Especially, um, I'm just busy going on with a bunch of things going on in life. But um, here's that prestige again. Cam Newton. Oh, it's like an acetate Russell Wilson. These are sharp cards, by the way. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I like the big NFL logo on that. And then it's Russell Wilson. So that's, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Russ is having a great year <laughs> right now. Probably the MVP. And rookie is uh, Jared Aberderis. Green Bay Packers wide receiver. Oh, from Wisconsin. Mm, yeah. Interesting. And then, again, here's that leaf pack. I've collected quite a few um, burrows and um, perverts out of these. So let's see if I can get some more. DeAndre Swift and CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb having... Well, he was having till. Um, Dak went down. I got three of these today. Whenever I see them, I grab them. Like I said, they're fun. Like I said, I'm probably expecting the same type of packs out of these than I than I had in the, the last two. Uh, so our Eric Ainge from Tennessee. Yep, same pack. So we'll go with that Prestige first. We've actually had some pretty good luck with that Prestige with that Russell Wilson last time. So. We can, uh, maybe give a full autograph. Greenway, Manning, D'Angelo, Devontae Freeman. Rookie is Bruce Ellington. And yeah, pretty much. I think we uh, used up all our luck on that last one. She's here selling. Kelsey, that's his, uh, I guess, third year card. Marino, that's a sharp looking Marino card. Uh, Legends of the Fall, James Harrison, that guy is a monster. Retired. A uh, Derek Watt. <laughs> uh, the lesser known of the Watts. Derek. That is, yeah, that's something. <laughs> And we have our leaf pack. J.K. Dobbins, Eno Benjamin, Van Jefferson, Colin Johnson. So we didn't really do real well in those leaf packs. Usually I pull a Burrow or some type of other rookie out of that. Um, so uh, since we're on football, let's stick with the football. So I was able to find 
they had the exclusive rookie holiday sweater blaster boxes there so I was able to get one I'm kind of interested to see what these um, these sweaters look like so you know, I've just pictured just like an actual like patch from a Christmas sweater and it officially saying that you know I don't know Joe Burrow officially wore this this ugly sweater last Christmas or something like that but I doubt that's what it is so I did buy, I have gotten a crap ton of Donruss this year, but whenever I see it, especially since we're in the middle of football season, I, I just buy it. I don't know. I, I think they're sharp looking cards, and then I think the rookie cards, are they're going to stand the test of time here, and we shall see. Jamal Adams, Jalen Ramsey, Kirk Cousins, Isaiah Simmons, oh, and there's a Brady. These were hot at one point. Tom Brady in a Packers jersey. So they were uh, they were going. People were buying them pretty uh pretty fast. And, you know, especially uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was this Prestige was his first official uh, Tampa Bay um, jersey, like in a Tampa Bay jersey card. And I remember those were selling for like people were buying them at like fifteen to twenty dollars a piece. Didn't get in on that. I should have when I uh, when I had a bunch of them. Yeah, nothing out there. Brett Favre. I do like the simplicity of these cards. The, the white borders and then they they, uh, they do a good job. Dig Dig's having a great year for Buffalo. Peyton. Jason Huntley, Jermaine Baker. Like I said, I took a, quite a long time off between collecting cards here. And one thing I've noticed when I started getting back into it, when I was opening up packs and I was pulling out like some of these players from when I, like Peyton Manning and Dan Marino's from when I did collect, it was kind of weird seeing them, again, you know, just like, you know, how they would include them in there. I think it's cool, especially for the younger kids to kind of just see those stuff and read the back and Zeke and um, get to learn about him. Mike Pittman Jr. Yeah, I was expecting big things out of him this year, but there's a Rodgers. But um, yeah, he's been, him, Paris Campbell, a bunch of those Colts rookies and wide receivers. I mean, not Campbell's not a rookie, but they just been struggling this year. Moon. What do we got here? Oh, another, speaking of Peyton Manning. Yeah, I love these great iron kings. I mean, I just like the canvas look of it. It's kind of neat. It's almost like it was actually painted on that card. So they do a good job with that. Harrison Bryant had a what was it two weeks ago had a great game. Um, came out of nowhere, of course, in fantasy football. That that following Mon uh, Wednesday, he was like one of the top pickups in my league because tight ends are a very valuable commodity. Um, this year. Marshawn Latimer. And we have ourselves an optic glare. That is sharp. Yeah, that is. I really like that. I was kind of wondering how, um, no, no, Cole McDonald. Um, with them getting um, Bell, how his production was going to be, if it would fall off at all. But, you know, had a really good game there not too long ago. So, that's uh, that's a hit. Still haven't seen the, um, the Christmas sweater cards, or whatever you want to call it. Um, like, I'm very interested to see what those are, what they look like. One reason why I bought them, because um, otherwise I kind of stay away from Donruss, but I'm just really interested in uh, what those cards look like. Oh, and I think this might be it. It's a little bit thicker pack. I think it's in here, so let's see. Hopefully, uh, they said one per box. Cooper Cup, Derek Carr, having a great year, Slayton. All right, here we go. It's a Tyler Johnson. Rookie 
Aren't these sweaters? Actually, it feels like a sweater. Tyler Johnson. Tyler, uh, that's a guy. There's just too many weapons in Tampa Bay. Um, I think he has like two touchdowns this year and has a lot of skill. But um, I just, I think he's just, he's, there's just too much talent up there. Not enough, uh, not enough footballs for all the players up there. Um, especially with them signing Antonio Brown. Longer video than I wanted to have, but got a lot of stuff today. So we'll go through these real quick. Logan Wilson, Alshon Jeffrey. Ah, Jared Stidham. Oh, Jonathan Taylor and a Mahomes. You know, Mahomes base card. Like the Taylor, Taylor's having a good year. Um, once Marlon Mack went down, they gave the ball to him, um, and he's been he's been doing really well. Barry Sanders, Warm Moon, and that's it. So well, not bad. Uh, the Lair was a really good pit find, a really good pick. So again, at Walgreens, these uh, I found these at Walgreens, these hanger boxes, and um, they have them at Walgreens, and every time I see them, I, I just find them. But this is where I started getting all my donors, but they're gone, but this one don uh, the one uh, Walgreens I went to that actually, actually had those uh, contenders basketball, they actually had these things back in stock, so they had two of them. They don't stock too much at Walgreens. Um, usually everything's in pairs or twos or threes, so, um, you know, it's a very limited run, so when they come in, but not many people go to Walgreens to buy cards, I guess. I mean, I don't see why not. They buy everything else at Walgreens. Else at Walgreens. Oh, Chance Jones. Here. I like the hanger boxes because they had so many more rookies. I think your odds of actually getting like any memorabilia or autograph cards are a lot lower. Kyle Murray. Here's my uh, fantasy tight end before he got hurt, but now he's back and he's looking good. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Kenny Galladay. And Mr. Trubisky. Kelsey. Michael Pittman again. Oh, there's a Mahomes Dominator. Yeah, I I love these. These cards are so sharp. Watson, Bulk, Marino, Debo, Troy, and Jordan Love. Yep. Been kind of putting his cards to the side. Obviously, he's probably a couple years away from playing, but, you know, Joe Reed Canvas card. I like these canvas cards. What they do it with the rookies. Thanks, Terrell, Parkinson, and then we go back to the regular cards. Lamar. Hmm. So, not a bad pack, I guess. I mean, I got a love out of it um, in that Mahomes card. So, uh, like I said, I went to Target, and they actually had this was the only hanger box left in Target. Everything else was sold. I actually found this. Someone had hidden it behind some Pokemon cards. So. You know, I uh, when it first came out, I uh, bought quite a few of these, uh, the blaster box. So let's see what, how we do in the hanger box. Probably won't see any more of these for a while. Probably not at all. So might be the last one I open up in a long time. Deck. Again, like I said, I like the hanger boxes because it's just, it's like a, back in the day, the jumbo packs. And these are like true jumbo packs. And there's a, a Brady in the Tampa Bay. The Photoshop works amazing. 
Oh, Brady and Mahomes back to back. Who's before him? Oh, DJ Moore. And a Trubisky. Wow. Just think Trubisky was drafted before Mahomes. Uh, AJ Brown, Drew Locke, Missouri guy, M I Z. And who do we have for rookies? We get the parallel, Willie Gay Jr., Jeff Okuda. There we go. Grimminshaw, Saquon Barkley, James Morgan. Maybe we get a Ben DeLucci. Not really much in terms of rookies. We're getting all the uh, Tiano Gibson. Oh, and here we go, another one. I don't mind the Gibson. He's uh, doing really good for the Redskins, considering how bad they are in terms of not the Redskins. Sorry, the, the Washington Football Team. But that wasn't too bad. I got uh, probably the favorite to win rookie of the year now that he's playing is uh, this guy right here. His rookie rookie parallel or rookie insert and his regular card there. So that's a that's a win. All right. So let's move on to baseball. So again, they uh, they make they make these. Uh, Fairfield makes these for baseball, and um, I actually have had really good luck with these. Um, sometimes uh, I've got obviously you're always going to get top series one in there for some reason, um, but I've, there's been instances where I've gotten series two and series one in there, and I've pulled like quite a few Tatis rookie cards and Alonzos. So it looks like um, yeah, not really too impressive. This is what I. This is probably the valuable pack in here. Um, this is from 2014, I believe. Um, and they're all rookies. And I feel like I got, yeah, I got a hit there. Gomez, I don't know what kind of card. And it's a rookie, Nick Birdie. That name sounds so familiar. And that's an on the card autograph. Sharpie too. Got a 499, Nick Birdie. Oh, Austin Gomber is a Cardinal. He's uh, had a really good year. Obviously, I'm a Cardinal fan, so yeah, that's pretty pumped up. But does Nick Purdy, that name sounds familiar. Is he with the Pittsburgh Pirates, maybe? It says Minnesota. I don't know if he is or not, but that's a sharp card on the card autograph. So not bad. I mean, these packs, like I said, are only nine bucks. Um, and um, you can get some pretty good stuff out of them. Um, obviously, not really Series 1. 2019, not really much in there. Um, I've gotten some things out of here. Uh, I'm trying to think what the uh, Pablo Lopez rookie, um, the main card to get out of the Series 1 was. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I've gotten like Series 1 and 2 packs in those, and I've pulled you know, multiple um, Tatis and um, Alonzo cards out of there. And then these big leagues, 2019 big leagues. Um, ooh, Justice Sheffield. Probably a rookie card there. It's not bad. Matt Olson. Ooh, Chris Davis. Out of 50. You see that? This is the first time I've seen this. It's a parallel. That's only 50 of these. That's kind of sharp looking. The monochrome. Yeah, I'll take that. And it's not a bad player. So nothing really out of, I mean, well, like I said, nothing out of the tops card or the tops pack, but probably wasn't expecting much out of there. There's an Akuna gold, gold cup card. But, oh, Heritage. Yeah, usually it's uh, Series 1, so we'll pop in this Heritage. Like I said, it's fun just going back a couple years um, and seeing the Dakota Hudson. <laughs> um, it's like being a Cardinal fan, there's a, two of the stud, I mean, rookies back then, but they're part of the staff now. Darvish. Nick Birdie, yeah, Pirates. I thought so. Huh. That's cool. So, rookie card and autograph card. I can't, you know, that's kind of neat. I 
take a look at this big league. I mean, we actually got a pretty decent hit out of that last big league one, and these are kind of like the throwaway packs here. Um, Showtime contest that's on like an inner. Yeah. And let's go, like I said, these are these extra editions. Like I said, this is like, I guess, Donner's version of Bowman. Jorge Soler, rookie, and it looks like we got another autograph card on the card of Sean Reed Foley, prospect. I have no idea who this guy is either. Jonathan Holder, yeah. So, about wow, two packs, two rookies. Got a Soler rookie out of that. Yeah, because all the cards in these are rookie cards. But these are sharp. Like I said, you got the. It's not the best side. There's some smudging on the autograph, but besides that, it's. Not bad. Yeah, like I said, this is my first video. Um, um, I, I plan on doing more of these. I know there's a bunch of these out there, but um, I don't know. I just think it's fun being able to share this. Um, obviously, I'm new to doing this type of stuff, so definitely uh, share a comment. Tell me what I need to improve on, what I can do, uh, what you want to see. Maybe I can help out. I mean, like I said, I'm not a big... Oh, there we go. On Ginter. Yeah, so... Like I said, usually uh, the top series, 2019 top series one is the first, it's like a gimme in these packs, or these those, those boxes, but um, not this time. Ooh, Akuna. Looks like a trout insert, and then a, a Bernese Mountain Dog. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Akuna's a nice card. Oh, who the hell's that in the background? Um, but yeah, please leave a comment, um, uh, you know, hit that, smash that like button, uh, subscribe, um, I'd like to do more of these, um, and um, I plan on doing more of these, um, especially since I have some, uh, I try, I do a lot of traveling, so I, I'm able to hit up, like, different retail stores, Walgreens, Target, like, um, all around the all around the country, so. Um, Peyton. Luke Dykstra. And a uh, Jack Flaherty. Elite Expectations. Look at that. Obviously, I'm a Cardinals fan, so I'm excited about that. That is a sharp looking card. Harvard Westlake. That's his high school team. So, nice. All right, so these are the two newer ones. So let's go with the Bowman Platinum. So apparently these have one autograph per box. So it's only one pack in there. Um, and I was able to find these at, this was at Walmart. They actually had quite a few of these. They had a lot of them actually. So um, let's see what we can get. So it's a lot of packaging for one pack. And there it is. They're expensive too. I think they're about 40 bucks for the jumbos. I don't know. I'm, it's, uh, I'm not sure how much that cost the mega box. Um, but uh, it wasn't cheap. But who knows? Maybe if you pull, uh, let's say, like a Robert or Jason Dominguez rookie card or something. So, And it's Bowman. So you're going to get some good rookies out of here. Or hopefully AJ Pook. Young, Vlad, Bryce Harper, Paddock, Meadows, a little Biggio action, Buster Posey, and this is our this is our rookie card autograph. It's out of fifty. Wow, and it is Duran, Warren, Heron, Duran, Jaron Duran. Um, it's a sticker autograph. Like I said, it's out of 50. It's a parallel. Look at that. It's nice. All right, I'll take that. I don't even know if he's who this guy is, but who knows? Um, and who else we got? Jones, Proctor. These look like old rookies in here now. Yeah. So who knows? Some these might be their first cards coming up. Uh, so let's do this 
Tops Gallery. I love Gallery. Um, I just, you know, just, I don't know. I just, I think it's just a cool concept and they do a really good job with it. And uh, these come with like an exclusive parallel pack inside. We'll save that for last. So I think there's only, what, four cards per pack? These are sharp. I just love these. Cesar Hernandez, Logan Webb. Grom, Chapman, Masters and Apprentice, and a Yelich. So this is a Alomar, is that Biggio? Beau Bichette. That's kind of neat. Don't forget that. Andrew McCutcheon. Swear. Brendan McKay. It's an insert. I love when they redo these uh, new players in the classic, classic card. Nice. nice. Nick Birdie again. Maybe, uh, yeah, I might have to look up that card. Uh, Aquino. Man, he, uh, I wish the Reds would have gave him more opportunities at the beginning of the year. I mean, obviously, he ended 2019 on a very hot streak, but, uh, Wish they would have given him modern artist and McGuire. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's Chapman. It looks like McGuire. King, and what do we have here? Featured artists. Oh, they get their own card with their Instagram handles on there. That's kind of neat. That's cool. Yeah, being a photographer, one of the things, one thing I've, a goal in my life is to have one of my pictures on some type of sporting card. Um, I don't know if that's how, how one goes about doing that. They use like um, AP photos or whatever one Soto. Um, Xander Bogarts. I like the Soto though. Wish it was a rookie. Obviously I had a, you know, after having COVID and coming back and just just, just destroying it. Um, oh, I don't want to forget that. But um, yeah, um, my old boss at Southern Illinois, he, uh, he uh, one of his images he took ended up being on a card. It was a, uh, so... I don't know, because Southern Illinois, obviously, they didn't have, didn't have me a photographer, so they needed it for a football card, and they used it in the shed. Shed long. See, that's why I like these cards. I mean, this, I mean these are art, artists doing this stuff and just catching the emotion. All right, last box. Bowman. Chrome. Let's see if we get a Dominguez or hell, something. Um, yeah, this video is a little bit longer, obviously. Uh, I'll try to keep it shorter next time. Um, maybe sh split up, split up uh, these, these pack, pack breaks into separate videos. But, um, yeah. So, it looks like, uh, okay. Okay, so these are the exclusive ones, and these are the regular Roman Chrome. Gotcha. All right, we'll open up these first. Nolan. Blake. All right, nothing there. That's. There we go. Ha ha. I'm happy with that. Let's go back to that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm satisfied. I mean, of course, I wish I had something else besides that, but you know, I'm not gonna hate on this box because of that. There we go, Gavin Lux, Makuna. Not bad. Okay, I'm liking this box. Still got these two packs. These are the exclusive like ones. 
Um, I kind of like refracting Dawn of Glory Smith, Kevin Smith. Okay. And last one. Julio Rodriguez. See a purple out of 199, Quinn Prayster. Huh. And a Wander Franco. All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So let's take a look at the pools real, real quick. So we got the Robert, the Lux, like that Wander. Don't know who that is, but you know, it's out of 50. I'm gonna have to look up. Like Chris Davis out of 50. Herbert, parallel. That Russell. And then a layer. What else did I get there? Oh, the Flaherty. That guy. Like I said, I'm going to do some research. So they're a rookie. Uh, not none of those. There's Nick Birdie, which I'm going to have to definitely look that one up. Uh, Gomber, not too much. I love Anthony Edwards. That rookie. Uh, and then these two jersey cards. So, not bad, not bad. I'm not going to complain too much. So, um, yeah, again, tell me what you think. I'd love to hear your opinions. Um, again, a good shout, a shout out to Ollie Moon and uh, Kenny uh, from KOT4Q uh, for kind of inspiring me to do this. Um, hopefully, um, I'd love to hear from those guys. Let me give me your opinion. Obviously, Kenny has a – check out Kenny's channel. It's hilarious. I love just – yeah, he's kind of in the same position. Obviously, he has a lot more uh, enthusiasm than I do and probably a bigger pocketbook. Um, spending, you know, throwing, you know, a couple hundred dollars on packs, you know. and uh, But, you know, good for him. I, You know, he's an Illinois guy. Um, I'm, I was born in Illinois in the southern part. But, uh, but yeah, and, and shout out to Ollie. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, um, hopefully uh, we can do this again soon, uh, very soon. And I'll try to keep it shorter and uh, hopefully pull some things. So, uh, for you guys watching, again, subscribe, hit that like button, uh, leave some comments, and keep on pulling. Peace out.